Hey guys, it's Chelsea Messenger with Picks and Parlays. The Super Bowl is almost here. It's Super Bowl week and we've got a super code for you. The code is super for 20% off the entire website at picksandparlays.net. Believe me, we've got you covered on every single angle. This particular video, we're going to discuss some props and also the total for the Super Bowl uh, because there's so many ways to play it. Uh, this season and with so many mobile wagering options as well. Uh, we've got Sean Higgs joining us to give us a juicy prop. Uh, Sean, what do you have your eyes on? Well, yeah, a lot of a uh, lot of props out there and you have so many different apps or brick and mortar places you can go to. Lines could vary, but let's be honest, the props are pretty generally going to be the same. So you can pretty much find them anywhere. And uh, speaking of finding anywhere, you can find me, Fan Cave, Wild West Valleys. Come down with Pixar Parley hats. We'll have T-shirts. So come see. I got beer you like to drink. I'm not a big drinker, but I'll definitely have something to eat. So come down and see me, and we'll cash some of these tickets in. So let's start out right away. Now, also, you know, tell us real fast. So on the our little sister winning free picks page, I do like the videos. I've been giving out prop bets every day there, and they'll be different in this one too. So more prop bets there if you look at those videos. But for you guys here, I'm going to give out uh, Brady TD in the third quarter. It's plus 140. I think they're going to score. You know, so. We'll get a TD there. We're getting Brady plus 140 in the third quarter. Yes, we're going to go there. That's another one. Even money. Again, you can find this anywhere. It's even money prop. A roughing the passer call. You have the goat and like the baby goat. You breathe on these guys <laughs> wrong. The flags come out. Right? Let's be honest. Right. You get close to the quarterback, there's going to be a flag. And the last couple of years, I've always bet this and I'm still going to play it. Yeah, we're going to definitely rough in the pass for penalty because I think quarterback's going to drop back to pass and somebody's going to get a little too close and there'll be some ridiculous flag called there. So even money on that one. And for a third one here, let's go. You know, this is an interesting one. This is going to correlate into what we're going to talk about next year. Uh, score after first quarter, 6-3. to three. Now, I saw like a 60-1 to one and a 65-1 to one either way. So put a little something on that, 6-3. So obviously... Sidewise here, Charles, I can't, you know, I do have a best bet posted on the game side, but total side here, I'm going under because I just think everybody and their grandmother is loving the over here. You just think Kansas City offense, it's a top offense in the league. Brady's been putting up a ton of points here, right? But I mean, look, 44 Atlanta, 47 Denver. I mean, 31 against Atlanta again, 31 Washington. What did they drop by New Orleans? 30? I mean, you're talking turnovers. You're talking turnovers in these games that generate a bunch of points like that. I do not see that happening. 27 24 the first meeting. It was 20 to 7 at the half, 27 to 10 in the third quarter. You know, Brady put up 350 yards. 200, like 20 of them were in garbage time when the game's already out of reach and Kansas City's going through the motion and they're playing a prevent defense. And that game still went under the total with two fourth quarter TD passes by, by Brady. So, you know what? It's a Super Bowl. We saw last year Kansas City, much like this year, just kind of played around with their competition, really didn't do much. Going through the motions, pulling away. I think this is going to be not a risk it for the biscuit with uh, Arians chucking the ball all over the place. Under, I don't think there's going to be a lot of risk taken here. I mean, I'm not thinking he's having Brady. That game should have been like 50 to, to 30. You know, here we go. Instead of running the ball, Arians is chucking the ball downfield. And Brady's getting picked off three times late in the game. Not in the Super Bowl. More conservative. I think we're going to see him running plays. They're calling for maybe rains, heavy rain. So definitely an ugly field. They're gaining some of the speed. I'm going under. It was at 57. It's down to 55 and a half, 56 in some spots. So under the total here, people. Let's go. Yeah, I think uh, what you said is right on. The odds makers know that everybody and their mom are wanting to bet overs, and I think that's kind of the case when it comes to props as well. So I'll be looking at a prop that's not necessarily one of the fun ones that everybody likes to bet on, uh, yardage totals and such. I'll be taking Patrick Mahomes over 40 and a half pass attempts. That means he doesn't necessarily have to complete all those attempts, but I think he's going to be throwing the ball a lot, especially when you're talking about a Tampa Bay run defense that is ranked number one in the NFL. So I think if you can't run against this team, that they're going to throw it. And Patrick Mahomes has done just that in just about every game. He's actually hit this number in six of his last eight games. Uh, he threw 49 times last time out against Tampa Bay. Uh, and if you think it's going to be a blowout, he actually threw it 42 times against the Jets. So I think that's where I'll be leaning there. Patrick Mahomes is their $500 million guy. And I think that's the way that they're going to do it uh, if they win, uh, you know, and even better if they're behind, because I think uh, maybe if it's a blowout, he doesn't get there. But I think they're going to be throwing the ball a lot. So that's my prop. 
Uh, anything else? Uh, I think you kind of covered it in your first little monologue. Uh, but any other props you like or anything else you would like to add for this particular video? How about we'll throw out, you know, you're like a Kansas City. How about we go with more red zone appearances for Kansas City minus 115? I'll follow you there. Maybe Kansas City getting down there. I think they got, you know, a little special team edge with their, you know, kickoff punt return. Maybe they get in there a little more often than Tampa Bay. I'll go there. I'll follow you. I'll follow you at Kansas City. We'll throw a Kansas City prop out there for your Mahomes 40, 40 and a half dropbacks. Well, let's hope they're all short ones. On we your... need short passes. We don't need like Hill for like right. 65 yards and, you know, completing a Kelsey for 18 yards every other pass is just chop it up the field and kill my well, over. The thing is, <laughs> if the Bucks do that too, yeah, it's going to kill your under uh, for sure. <laughs> but I think if you like the Chiefs here, which I do, I think you look at winning margin and you can do it uh, several ways. But the way I would be leaning is the four way where the Chiefs win by one to 13 points. And you can get that for plus 135. If you play the Chiefs on the spread, obviously you're not getting plus money. I like the winning margin here. I don't think it's going to be a blowout. I don't see it happening, especially the way the Chiefs play. Uh, they don't blow out a whole lot of teams just because they're super conservative. And we're talking about a Super Bowl. We're talking about a team that's not going to want to lose it. Uh, they're not going to be doing trick plays if they're up a lot. So uh, you, you, you have the option of a backdoor cover here. Obviously... The elephant in the room is the GOAT. Uh, if you think the Bucks are going to win, that's the only problem with this bet. But if you do like the Chiefs, I think that's the way to get some value. Uh, that's going to do it for this particular video uh, on the Super Bowl. As Sean mentioned, we've got all kinds of videos up on our YouTube page, both on picks and parlays, bookie blasters, and winning free picks. So pick your poison. We've got you covered here on picks and parlays. Always great stuff from Sean Higgs. Sean, thanks for joining us.